All right, everybody. This is a uh, PKO gamer here. I'm going to play Street Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, Turbo Hyper Fighting for the Super Nintendo. Another person on a uh, Skirmish Frog Retro Revelations. Uh, he did Street Fighter 2 World Warrior, and this is what I owned as a kid. And um, I played this game, and I got through to Vega. Got my ass handed to me by Vega. And I've, I've, uh, I got it down to difficulty of. Uh, two stars of four. Let's see if I can beat it. I almost beat it on normal. I don't do the turbo that much. I, I always did. Uh, I always did this type. So I like Ryu, Ryu, Ro, Ru. What's his damn name? I've heard so many different ways of pronouncing that. He's my favorite. So let's go. It's a little easy already. I probably will make it through this one. Um, yeah, I probably will make it through this one because I got all the way to Vega and I lost once at Ken, I think. And Vega just kicked the shit out of me. But, you know, who knows? I may not win this. Oh, come on. Really? Not too bad. Again, I'm using this Xbox One Mini controller. If you can see that little D-pad, it kind of sucks balls for Street Fighter 2. It does kind of suck. So, making the best of it. I'll get through this, and if I can't beat it, I may have to, like, stitch this together. I hope I can beat it. But we'll see how it goes here. This is one of these fun, you know. I remember Street Fighter 2, the reading, oh, God, uh, EGM, they're like showing the prototypes for the 16 bit cartridge. I love that Tri Gaming Monthly back in the day. And um, uh, they were showing it, and they finally got it out there. My cousin bugged my aunt to death. She, he got it, and I think I borrowed it from him. I played. I could beat Street Fighter 2, and this one normally. Over time, if I got good at it. Again, this this controller is okay. Again, I'm I'm good. It, it's a lot easier. I can tell it's better than it, it was when I was playing. But I play on normal, and um, this is half a normal. I guess four stars is normal. I'm on two stars because this thing is kind of unforgiving. But I love this game as a kid. This and Mortal Kombat. I think a lot of us as kids, we were just into this shit. I mean, this was. This is the fighting game that really did it for everybody. And made, you know, Fatal Fury came out later the same year, and I love Fatal Fury. Everybody thought Fatal Fury was a um, sequel to this, and it wasn't. It was a brand new game. Yeah, this game's probably going to be, this is going to be a little easy. I may actually have it a little, a little easy for me, because, I mean, I was doing good on the four stars, the normal. Yeah, Tilt this a little bit. You can guys center me on the camera here. I mean, I did pretty good. But, man, Vega just absolutely ripped me a new asshole. I don't know what it was. I mean, again, Retro Revelations, he uh, he was playing it. He had to play over and over and over to get through Bison. Oh, double hit. Yeah, I might not have too much trouble getting through this one, but... And I love his stream you ever see in Retro Revelations. I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel below. Um, he's funny. He cussed the shit out of it. I, I don't blame him because he's just like, really? Because he couldn't get past Bison and Vega gave him some problems too. Let's see. And I like these. Except, you know, in Street Fighter 2 World Warrior, you didn't get the, um, what is it? Oh, the, the barrels. I suck at the barrels. You probably will see me suck at them. Well, you will see me suck at them. But this was pretty much, you know, they uh, took the 16 meg cartridge, which was, oh, come on, barely. Um, this, these triggers are not the same as the Super Nintendo. I'm hoping to get a retro, tr uh, Super Retro Trio for Christmas. And I also think I'm going to buy me like a Super Nintendo and uh, some of these these retro USB controllers that actually play better than this. But I'm glad I got this, but 
anyway, you know, they, the, I always loved the tech side of it. That's why I grew up becoming an IT person, but, man, I might have this too easy. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. It may start kicking my ass toward the end of it, but, um, um, you know, 16 meg cartridge was something big. I remember a prototype they showed EGM is like this tall or something. Just to get it in there. And then they added four more megs to add this in. Pretty much you get the Grand Masters. And this has the turbo. This is my favorite version. This is Champion Edition. Yeah, I got this a little easy. I might be too easy here. But I just couldn't beat Vega. I couldn't get to the game. I want to get to the game once and kind of get, I might have to crank this up to three stars next time. I never said I was great at fighting games. You, you know that from my Mortal Kombat POG plays. So, but Ryu, Ryu, whoever, he's my man. He's always been. Ah, I spoke too soon. I got him. That was a difficult fight on normal. Uh, I beat him. I had to retry it. Ryu, Ryu, I'm going to call him Ryu right now because everybody says Ryu a lot of times. But whoever, how he pronounced him, uh, almost, he almost beat me to continue. Oh, oh, yes! That is awesome! Really? Fuck you, Ken. Uh, I don't have anything against Ken. This is his classic characters. I mean, I know Street Fighter V is in beta or something that's coming out. It's amazing how, street, how far Street Fighter's come, how far it keeps going. Chun Lee, now she was a bitch to me. I don't like her on normal. She can kick the shit out of me for some reason sometimes. Ah, this damn D pad sucks. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lose here. It's gonna get harder even on this two stars. This, I guess you would call one star very easy. This is just barely under normal or easy. Three stars would be sim normal easy or something. I don't know what to call it. But you know, they had all these. They had a lot of difficulty. Or is it just easy, medium, hard, or even very hard? It was. But yeah, you know, I could I could work my way back up. I almost beat it on four, but I let everybody know that. But I really liked these games. They really brought fighting games out. Then you had um, the versus Marvel versus Capcom. Well, actually, Marvel versus Street Fighter and Marvel versus Capcom. Those are my some of my favorites. But Fatal Fury was the one that I had at Walmart. You know what I mean? They had an SNK box. They had Samurai Showdown. I think sometimes. This is what was in this Walmart. Get this in my childhood. They had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, the four-player original arcade game. Perfect. They had Final Fight, Fatal Fury, and for a while there they had Street Fighter II World Warrior. They didn't have that on. They didn't keep up with it. But I had to find other places to get play. You know, play Mortal Kombat. And um, everybody might say this. You know, I'm a little fuzzier. This is no shave November. Yeah, it's not filled in there, but I'm growing my beard back out. Oh, you son of a bitch! Russian bastard. Go wrestle a fucking bear. Oh, okay, this bastard is pissing me off. Anyway, this is No Shade November, so you're gonna see the Picky Old Gamer get a little fuzzier, but. Yeah, this, I had a great arcade uh, experience, and then the mall near me had like Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel Super Heroes. Everybody remember that? Came out on uh, the PlayStation. Man, that was so nice. I mean, it, it about broke the PlayStation, and it slowed down so much. Remember, I had a buddy and I, we played that one night, one evening I stayed over, we played it up until like 2 a.m. or 1 or 2 a.m., something like that. But this game started, it really, I mean, Street Fighter or Fighting Street 
was out on the PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16. I, I didn't know about it. And then Street Fighter 2 hit. And I was like, well, where the fuck is the first one? And it didn't matter. It was just so good. And then Champion Edition hit, and you got to play as the Grandmaster, Balrog, Vega, uh, M. Bison, Sagat. And it was... And this thing they sold me, they kept releasing versions of this. It Mortal Kombat out on the PlayStation because the PlayStation was strong enough to finally um, <clears throat> put out arcade perfect versions of it. And it was something else, but it came out like the, the 3DO had a version of this and it was arcade perfect. So it's like I said right here, look on there, there's two elephants on each side. The arcade had three of it, there were six elephants. It, even for the Super Nintendo, they had to cut out two elephants just to make it fit. And they also were, were screaming or, you know, doing roaring, I guess. Some of them could say, well, that, that's not what an elephant does. Come on, get this. Ah. Come on, man. There we go. When an elephant roars, I don't know if that's even right. If that's that. Like right here. That they would play during the, you know, there's a lot of little subtleties they took out, and it was neat. Just and I like to read, like I said, the game magazines. They're really EGM, Electronic Game Monthly. They're showing how they're making, how what, how much they took out of it. And finally, it showed up on the Sega Genesis, a special championship edition. I want a copy of that. I saw a copy locally in the box for like eight bucks, and I passed up on it. And now I found a couple sitting there in the cartridge that kind of pissed me off. I should have got the one in the box. Yeah, this is easy. <laughs> I cranked this down to two stars out of four. I should have cranked it down to three stars. I'm not, I don't know. Let me get the Vega. He might kick the living shit out of me again. He just, I don't know. There's like some people. Oh, I don't know now. Is he busy? Yep. I may not have it too too uh, too hard, but I want to get through this game and actually have a. You know, some, that's what I was talking about in um, a Mortal Kombat playthrough. I like it where you can turn these things down. For us, that, that kind of suck at <laughs> fighting games. We just have fun. I want to get better at this, get a good controller. Oh, here we go. Let's, let's see how bad I suck this. Because they didn't, you know. Stupid last son of a bitch barrel. <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. Oh, that's horrible. All right, pay attention here. Yeah, he's going to be a dick. No, he's not. This thing's turned down to the point where it's beatable. You if you pay attention. Yeah, I turned this I should turn it down to three stars. I want a little bit of challenge and have some fun and have some laughs on this, but this is pretty much me been just rambling, but a couple of close calls. Ooh. That was a good hit by me. Yeah, he's not putting up a fight. Fuck you, Vega. Turned it down a little low. Hate to say, I, I I wasn't as good as a kid. I'm actually better at Street Fighter as an old fart, old picky old gamer. I, I picked it up like I can't beat this, and I went right through with a couple of continues, and Vega just kept kicking my ass. So I guess I've gotten better with other fighting games over time, but um, yeah, not too shabby. So I got now. Sometimes Sagat can just give me trouble. Let me see here. Sometimes it's best just to... 
hammer him with fireballs. Yeah. Retro Revelation, sorry, buddy. I, I couldn't make it through. I, I wussed out. I went a little too too low. Here goes my clock going off on me. His video was fun because he was cussing the shit out of that. It is funny. I mean, sometimes you just, as a child, you, you know, your childhood is like, come on, I gotta get to this game. Gonna quit talking. Got him. Got him. Maybe I just it was. I don't know. I've gotten better. I, maybe I'm a three-star guy on Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I probably wouldn't have much problem with it. Oh well. Or I just had a really bad day. I think I was tired. I played this. All right, M Bison, which technically was Vega. I know uh, Retro Revelations. He had did this right. I'm gonna I'm gonna link his video below. It was fun. He's not asking me to promote him. But hit the die. Son of a bitch. God damn it, stupid controller. Got you, son of a bitch. I don't care. One or two stars, three stars, four stars. That cocksucker, that son of a bitch will just take it in this fucking D-pad. Ugh. Oh. Not too bad. On two stars. Eh. Could have done better. I could have probably done, um. Probably could have done three stars. I gotta work on this. Let's, let's do the. The POG, Picchio Gamer. And of course, you didn't get the real endings in this unless you did, you know, normal four stars or above. POG. Why don't you try a harder difficulty? Because I kind of suck at it. Um, well, that's it for uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That was a Super Nintendo. There's a quick playthrough on two stars. I thought it would be better, a damn lot better difficulty. That's a quick playthrough. Well, it was fun. So, um, make sure you uh, keep watching my channel and Sega Galactico. Search him out on Twitter and YouTube. We're about to start the Boss Rush podcast. And go to skirmishfrogs.com. S-K-I-R-M-I-S-H-F-R-O-G-S. That's going to be, uh, a, that's a really great site that for um, retro gaming and, um, you know, uh, go there and take a look. There's a lot of great articles, a lot of great stuff going on, and it's a great site to join. All right, everybody, uh, this is PKL Gamer.